Jersey's he's head close for the first down at the 36. Needed the 38. Two will be needed on the next play. The ball today at 200. Uh, I'll check that out. 139 yards, and we go on the ground, and that is going to be Cyrus, and he's getting banged around pretty good. Down left slot right open to the right side, single setback, and Johnson is under center. He's going to throw, and that goes to Tannehill. Got a first down. The slot there on the right side, first down and 10. The Aggies at their 41. They lead here 21 to 3. We go straight ahead on a handoff to the tailback. And that's Michael again, and he got a, oh, maybe two. He's out to about the 43-yard line. Down to, uh, inside the 15-yard line, and then got the pick and stopped it. Here's the second down and eight. Happy feet. Now he throws. Morrow, oh, didn't get the first down, Ooh. but he's at midfield. Misses it by a yard. Kristen Michael is standing back at the Aggie 45. Line of scrimmage is the ISU 49, and we're going to sneak for it. Did Gerard get it? The guy on the yes, far I side. Yes, I think so, oh, Dave. Oh, what a flag. Somebody do something? Apparently they did. I think he got it. Brothers. It's at the... They all clear it out there. He got it across the 49-yard line, didn't he? Here we go. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 16. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic. First down. Oh, I saw it on the, the replay. Line, that's the linebacker, Josh Raven, who drove the penalty. And one of their starters, he's taken out of the lineup after drawing that penalty. And we go to Jamie McCoy straight ahead across the 30. And maybe the 29 at the 30-yard line. So he's doing a dual roll. He sets up that time as the uh, fullback. Play action, rolling, throwing. McCoy out of the backfield as the fullback knocked out across the 25. At the line of scrimmage right now on a uh, first and ten. The pitch left side stopping and now trying to break a tackle. And Kristen Michael thrown back to the 31. Back to the line in a shotgun. Got the snap. Cox his arm. Throws. He's got a man down there. That is Wachaku. And then he fumbled it into the end zone and a touchback. He went down at the one and into the end zone. Recovered by ISU. Tiller been out for one play today. Has it, and they give it to the uh, tailback, goes to the 25, that'll be Robinson again. 15 first downs at the 25, and Tiller will keep. He's got a first down, he crosses the 30, goes to about the 32 yard 21 line. 21 to three, Texas A&M third quarter over Iowa State. Play action by Tiller, time to throw, he will. Got a man wide open, that's a catch at the 40, he'll be tackled. And he ran out of his shoe right there. It's their biggest play of the day. Here's a first down. Robinson to the left side. And he's wrestled away from one uh, would-be tackler. And then finally brought down by Michael Hodges. Halfback left. And a fake on a throw here by Tiller. And he keeps and he goes for a yard to the 16. 21-3 A&M. Iowa State on offense. Motion left to right. Three wides now in that direction. Here's Tiller rolling. Tiller under pressure, just fumbled the ball, but they got it back. One of the offensive linemen, Hosemele, fell right on top of it. And he will go back to the 29-yard line where he recovered that fumble. That's a loss of 13. I think here comes the snap. Uh, oh, we jumped. That's got blocked. blocked. And it's been picked up. And that's Hunter, and he's running here. As he's on the sideline, back to the 10. Yeah. Were we drawn offside? Well, we'll find out. No, we got to flag. Back at the 30-yard line. Yep. Yep, they're bringing it by. Yep. Uh, moving five yards <laughs> closer. The guy that caught the block. Offside, defense, number 40. Five-yard penalty. Von Miller got the Still block because down. he just... Slide angle to the left, long count, snap, hold, kick. It's going to be wide to the right. Missed it. Good. Wide right. And A&M's got the ball now after the missed field goal at their own 24. And it's coming to the left side after a quick handoff. That's Cyrus. He stops, spins. He's breaking a tackle. He fights for the 30-yard line, and I think they'll give him the 30. Pick up of six. Second go. Second down and four. Going to throw. Here's the throw, and it goes to Fuller, and he's got a first down. He's at the 40-yard line. 
Fuller now has caught three for 51. Empty in the backfield, quarterback draw. Juking back and forth, pulling him down. Ooh, close there, 45 yard line. Got those uh, three receivers bunched up over there on the right side and a split in left. It's gonna be a pitch back to the right and Gray, nice hole, 50, 45, 40 down to the 39 yard line. Two wides here close to the line of scrimmage. Uh, the lineman, here's a handoff and that's Gray and he tripped over. Uh, there's Gerard with the ball, and he throws Fuller at the 30, and he's got two guys closing on him, and he splits between them to the 28, and a first down for Jeff Fuller. He's lead 21 to 3. They have the ball at the 28. Here is Kenny uh, Brown, and he's across the 25 to the 23, running out. Johnson in the shotgun. The halfback got it, and that's Cyrus, and he's got a first down, and he's got some more. He's fighting across the 15. He goes to the 12. Uh, we run the ball 30 times, 149 yards, and uh, again, as Tom told you, 204 there on the uh, the passing. Here we go, and we try the middle. Cyrus, and he gets to the 10. That's a pickup of a couple. Got three on the left, one on the right, and uh, that's Wachaku. And uh, it goes to uh, Gray, and Gray is going to get Three very tough yards as they Fuller's way out there on the left side as a split in on third down. The line of scrimmage actually the eight play action by uh, Gerard. Throws, catch, Morrow, touchdown! Yes! Great play, great call. Oh, we got a flag. Celebration? Uh, maybe, but they had McCoy in the flat and they had Wachaku deep. And then they brought Morrow in in between them from the other side, and he was wide open. Eight-yard touchdown for Howard Morrow. Here we go. Unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number five. The oh. touchdown is good. 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Okay. Well, I just saw the replay, and I have no idea what he did. No, I did. He saluted. Oh, he did? Yeah. He gave a little salute down there. And they it's thought that Military was... Appreciation Day. <laughs> Come on. It's <laughs> good, Dave. 27 to 3. And here's the extra point up and good. We're going to kick off from the 15 yard line after the penalty. And here it goes. Need a good one. And it's not bad. It's going to go to the 17. Returned by Josh Lenz. Hits the middle. And he's trying to fight his way out of there. Across the 40 to the 42-yard line. That could have been a lot worse than what it was, but the 42 is where they'll start this possession. They got a 26-yard return by Lenz out to the 43. And they gone inside. Oh, big hole. He's at the 40. Broke a tackle, 30. Aggies closing on him across the uh, 15 to about the 11-yard line. And that's Bo Williams who just broke out of there in his first carry. 28 to 3, and now they've got a first down and 10 just like that at the Aggie 13-yard line. And we're coming at them. They're going to go to the end zone, and that is out of the back of the end zone. Last time they were in the red zone, they ended up having to attempt a field goal that they missed. Wide right. Lens is going in motion. And uh, that's going to be a keeper by Tiller, the quarterback. He goes to the 11-yard line. Got Robinson back in there. Two wides left, one to the right, close side to the right. Tiller's got it. Tiller steps up. He's going to run. The Aggies are closing on him. He's got to the four-yard line. He didn't get the first down. There's the snap. And the uh, not going to be Tiller on a keeper, and he got in for the touchdown. And it is good. Don't forget, too, now we gave him a short field because we had to kick off from our 15-yard uh, line because of an excessive uh, celebration penalty. Sidewinder. And uh, Gray was going to go back and try to catch that over his right shoulder, but he let it go on through the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20, so we'll be under center on a first down and 10 at the Aggie 20. Wants to throw. He will. Watch a coup. 25. Broke a tackle. They shove him out of bounds. Where did he go out? Close to the first down. Watch a coup now has uh, caught two for 36. And where's Gerard? Gerard. Uh, he kept the ball after a fake to Michael. Michael's coming back to this side quarter. The Aggies lead 28 to 10 over Iowa State. Moves under center. And we will hit the middle. We got the first down. It's a carry to the 31 by Kristen Michael. Fullback will be Jamie McCoy, and McCoy just got a handoff. 40, 45, 50, 40. They're closing on him. He's on the sideline, and they'll take him out of bounds. And he stepped out, I'm sorry, back at the 31. He went all the way to the 20, but the official saying he stepped out at the 31. How about Jamie McCoy? That's designed just to get a two or three little old yards right there. 
but he found himself a hole right up the middle and then broke to the right sideline, tried to tightrope it, but he steps out at the 31, but he was going to go a lot further if he doesn't step out of bounds. That one, half back to the right side, and a throw and a catch at the 25. That's Fuller bulldogging close for a first down. They rolled him toward the uh, far end of the sticks. He rounds the tight end on the right side. Two flanks here to the right, and that's a, a draw and delay. Michael slipped to tackle with a roll, slipped another 15, 20, uh, excuse me, the 10, and uh, he will step out at the seven yard line. Half back right, shotgun, half back, got it at the five. He is fighting, he is a touchdown! That's Kristen Michael. Once again, off the left side on the zone read, he gets hit about the three yard line, got quickness through the hole, and then shows his power as he takes a couple of tacklers in with him for the touchdown from seven yards out. The Aggies 37 carries 218. The extra point is good. Aggies now have racked up 445 yards of total offense. The kick will be returned. Lens up to the 14 to the 20. Little seam there, uh, have him now high and low. Porter's one of those guys on him, and they'll give him the 30-yard line. First down and 10 for Iowa State. First down and 10, shotgun. And they've got Bo Williams back in there at that half back to the left side. Tiller throws quick, and he threw a little bit too hard and a little bit too high. It was Hamilton trying to catch the ball. And they'll throw a screen, and the Aggies there for a moment, and now they are. They'll close on it. Garrick Williams will close on Cedric Johnson. Tiller at the 24, had the snap, forced out of the pocket, looking, throws. Not enough for a first down, caught and steps out at the 38-yard line. Fourth down and a couple, and they'll punt it. Middle pressure. And they're telling everybody to go. That went Ooh, way out of, out of bounds. Go out of bounds. That went behind the Aggie bench, and here comes the official running in up. here today, their fifth of the uh, season. And we're going to run on the ground, and uh, Cyrus will carry for uh, about uh, four yards to the 42-yard line. Looking at Schumard, Ike, Matthews, Lewis, and Grimes in the offensive front. They've been there most of the day. Here's Gerard on a caper, dancing back and forth. He's to the 45-yard line. <laughs> that uh, clock down is down to three on the huddle clock when we snap it. A throw, a first down. That's the earlier mentioned Kendrick McNeil, his first catch today. As Gerard looks up at it, has his snap. And he gave it to Cyrus, 40, 35. Has a man on his ankle. <laughs> Go he had down. The, he had the ball and chain right there, and he got it to the 32-yard line. He was dragging that guy down the field with him. First down, the Aggies, and Gray gets the uh, carry for your Ags. The winner has been determined. The final score in doubt. Here goes Cyrus. He's cutting left. Now, again, started to the right just for a step, then back to the left, and he got back to the line. And uh, two wides, both sides of the formation. Time now, 5.15 to go. Give it to Cyrus, first down and more, 20, 16-yard uh, line. He'll go, he'll, he stayed right up the middle, 14 yards. First down play for your Aggies, Gray again. Boy, he's going to get some yardage out of this, and he's st they're still, still going. going. <laughs> he's got it across the 15. It looks like sometime that's going to go nowhere, and they just keep pushing. Yeah, he does. We'll get it here in a minute. Here's the handoff, and that's to the uh, 10. He's across the uh, 10 inside at about the six-yard line. Yeah. Nine of 11, the Ag offense. Going to sneak for it. Gerard close, still pushing. Oh, somebody gave him a nice little shove in the middle of the back. They just gave him the six-yard line, I believe. So it's a first down, Texas A&M. High formation on first and goal. A pitch going to the right side. Cuts, cuts again. It's grazed about the two-yard line. Cyrus inside the uh, five. He still won't go down. <laughs> Man, they were going all which directions there. Did he ever go down? I don't think he did. And we're going to have to approach the line oh, they're with gonna, two they're seconds. Not gonna, they're not going to try. They're going to try to kill it. They're not going to score so again. He just took the knee. They'll probably take the penalty or take a timeout, one or the other. Going to snap it. Got it snapped with uh, no time. And uh, we'll take the knee one more time. And on downs now, we'll turn the ball over with 26 seconds to go in the game since the game had been determined. Aggies in a prevent defense. And it will be uh, Bo Williams, and he will carry uh, to about the 11-yard line. He played late in this game. They're going to let it run out. That'll be it. Uh, both teams walking out on the field.
Well, I don't have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, from the um, Well, I'll just I'll make a statement, I guess, to get these guys going. Um, excited about today, obviously. Uh, we knew coming into this ball game, we had a lot of respect for uh, Coach Rose and his staff and the, the team that they put together and they've been winning and beating Nebraska, beat Baylor the week before. The, so we knew we were going to have our hands full. Uh, prepared very hard for this ball game and uh, didn't take too much for us to get back to work on Monday. The kids were very focused on our opponent. We knew what the impact this game had for us here at home and the implications it has. You know, you're one step closer to some of our goals. And so... Uh, it was a big win. Uh, I thought um, Iowa State played extremely hard and, and well, and uh, we made some plays that, uh, that just made a difference in the ball game. Homer to the right. Well, I felt like, uh, except for the second quarter of uh, of the Arkansas game and uh, the entire ball game, for the most part, of K State, we were just bumbling and stumbling. Um, I, I think they've had pretty good confidence. I, I think you, what you see in the last two weeks, probably a little bit more confidence, uh, believing in each other. I think our quarterback is uh, is into a rhythm and doing a great job of leadership. Uh, uh, he made a couple of checks out there uh, that were significant calls that, that made a difference. So uh, he's, he's, he's leading the charge. I think the offensive line has settled down a little bit and seems like they're, you know, you can only be as good as those guys up front because they, they get the thing going. And uh, if you can't protect your quarterback, you can't create running lanes, then it's very difficult to call plays. But uh, because of the offensive line and the job they're doing with Coach Turner at the helm, uh, the last couple of weeks have probably been their best two weeks, and hopefully that will continue.